Okay, here is my first attempt at doing a design using frameless cabinetry. I'll walk you around the room. Let you know what each cabinet is, and then we can certainly change things as necessary. These are tall pantries that are 12 inches deep. And 96 inches high. You have 98 inch high ceilings. So the only thing that might prevent me to do 96 inch high cabinets is being able to tip the cabinet into the room. You probably need more than a little less than 96. So might need to adjust this cabinet. But the concept is there. Anyways, that would... Behind the doors would be uh, adjustable shelves. So this is a cabinet and this is a cabinet. Uh, small door, small door, large door, large door, I believe. Then we have something that you can put a microwave in. Various drawers. Two wall cabinets. Not uh, actually two door, two doors. This is all one big cabinet. Got a panel, refrigerator panel to give this on either side to give this refrigerator a built-in look with a cabinet above. A wall cabinet, small base cabinet with a drawer. You can put you can put cookie sheets in here, or we could make this a set of drawers if you'd like. Call this an easy reach cabinet right there in the corner. You can see that it's one cabinet on a 90 degree. Let me show you that cabinet a little closer. Like this. Boom. Inside that cabinet are adjustable shelves. One, two, three. Then on either side of the stove, we have four drawers, another wall cabinet. Wall cabinet where the hood's going to go. Could probably put some storage here. Um, would want to look at the hood that you have in mind or the venting system you have in mind um, in order to finish this area. And I can't remember if any part of this wall is an outside wall. So whether the venting can go on top of these cabinets and out this wall, which is the sink wall, or if the vent can go directly um, on the other side of this wall, straight out. Um, might have to see if uh, how we can get creative there. Uh, the base corner has a super lazy Susan. I know you're not a big fan of that but this is probably the best use of the corner. There are a couple other options. A blind corner cabinet you can do, which I'm not a fan of. And you might be able to do a set of drawers, but when you do the set of drawers, there's a lot of dead space. 
the drawer, the cabinet, is like this. Then you got the drawers in the front, but this space here is unusable space. That's why I've got a Lazy Susan in here. Got another Lazy Susan next to the dishwasher. The dishwasher can go on either side of the sink. That doesn't cost any more than um, whether, so it doesn't cost any more whether you put put it here or over here. I'm not a big fan of having it here because uh, it kind of conflicts with the stove a little bit, but not too bad, so I kept it where it is. So if you have a preference, then either one's fine. Um, existing window, existing size. So if you still want to do a bay window that's bigger than this window, I I'd, I'd obviously need to know. On either side of the window, this is 33 wide, this is 33 wide, so this match matches. This is a 24 wide, and the door, single door, swings out this way, so it's easy to get to this cabinet. Uh, double trash pullout, working drawer, uh, a 9-inch cabinet for cookie sheets stored on a vertical, Then you have the peninsula. This I decided that there's not enough room for an island unless you knock down this wall. Which I can play around with if you'd like to. But it's it's this space is narrow. So I've got another Super Susan in the corner in a bank of three drawers. With sitting seating on this side of the island. Or I should say peninsula. So that's concept number one. If you'd like me to explore the idea of an island where I would remove this wall, which I think is a supporting wall, then let me know.